Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So yes, I am here, I am still around. Um, no, I haven't gone somewhere magical. Uh, I'm just still at university and uh, I've been getting on with work here and there and actually enjoying a social life as well. It's been really, really good. So uh, I am going to try and get back to videos with a semi-regular frequency. You know how it is, you know, we all have so much work that we do and uh, there's only so much I can kind of plan and, and fit in at any one time. So it might be that there's a few weeks where there's nothing, there might be that there's a few weeks where there's something, um, but nonetheless, I'll try and keep up a, a semi-regular schedule where I can. Now also, the thing I wanted to mention is I've uh, I've been for a, a kind of... Uh, on and off debate within myself for a couple of months now of the poetry videos and, and what to do with the poetry videos because I originally got this thought to put them on a different channel and of course I didn't want to do that because um, I have done that with so many other things in the past. I've had different channels for different things and I've always come back to this channel and I've always said, well, we're doing it on this channel in the end. And so I did that with the poetry. I said, right, we'll do it on this channel. And to be honest, I would continue with that. But there's one reason why I'm not going to continue with that. And that's because I want there to be a channel where I can really focus on solely my poetry and have a sort of channel that's a poetic portfolio, if you will, um, where I can see and others can see the poetry that I've done, and I can kind of quantify it in my mind, kind of be able to understand it as distinct from other things, and really put a good lot of time into that poetry channel and really deliver some good quality poetry. There are already a couple of poetry videos up on there. They're the ones that I've previously published on this channel, uh, and of course... I've got back in contact with the guy who I discussed uh, on Fiverr with, with regards to doing the, not the narration, but I suppose the video production side of things. So, of course, I, I don't have the, the time that I'm expending on, on doing that because that would clearly be um, a few hours a week that, that I don't have at the moment. So, I'll be doing it that way. Um, and then that means that, of course, I can uh, I can produce some good quality poetry. I'll still be doing the narrations myself because that's something that I really feel quite strongly about, that a poet, especially in the 21st century, with YouTube or Instagram or anything like that, if you're doing video poetry, unless, let's say, you've just got a crap voice, and maybe I've got a crap voice, I don't know, but... I feel that a poet should narrate their own poetry. When you listen to uh, Charles Bukowski on YouTube um, narrating his own poetry, uh, it, it's brilliant. And I know there is another guy who does it, I think uh, someone called Tom, Tom something, who does brilliant narrations, absolutely brilliant. Um, but I do like when a poet actually narrates their own poetry with something to it because a poem in its rawest sense is a deep experience of that person so when the person narrates it if they do it well if they're you know in a good frame of mind when they're narrating it and they can get back into that experience only they can give it full credit only they can really bring to it what was originally intended because it's, poetry is entirely subjective. Funnily enough, I've just wrote a psychological essay on poetry, and in that essay I made sure to, to um, respect the fact that actually no psychological theory whatsoever, I put this at the end of the essay, can ever categorise poetry, can ever even categorise something like music or... Um, Anything else that's subjective, art, you know, it can never fully categorise art. Yes, there's links between art and mathematics, and the kind of the, um, the, the, the less nuanced argument, shall we say, is that 
mathematics is scientific and art is subjective and while mathematics kind of creates art in a way in terms of the shapes and the styles and the geometry and all that sort of stuff actually art creates math- mathematics as much as the other way around and that sounds very very odd but mathematics is actually a form of art just as much as art is a form of mathematics and that that goes into as well this kind of idea that um, surgery is a form of artwork if you've ever watched any sort of little surgery happen you can watch these videos on youtube surgeries of um you know the little surgeries of uh getting rid of cysts and stuff like that and there's brilliant artistry in that and of course that can be quantified by mathematics and uh, a mathematical element comes into it and an objective element comes into it but just as much a subjective element comes into it and and so there's a real beauty in that and uh, it really uh, makes you feel as if these two things that are diametrically opposed on one level are actually very, very interconnected and, and there's a lot of romance there and a lot of emotion there. You see this a lot as well with physicists who hark back to their early student days when they say, oh, well, I, I just, I first looked at the equation for light, or I first looked at uh, Einstein's general relativity or special relativity, and I was overcome with this sense of awe and emotion. And that's because, although it's a mathematical formula that, that they're observing, they're projecting all of their emotionality into that. And then the mathematics get coloured by a kind of artistry and a kind of uh, emotionality that can never be removed from it. Because the pursuit of physics, for example, which is highly uh, a mathematical field, that's been created from an instinct of curiosity, which in itself has a subjective element, has a, a, a an interest in what's out there, what what could be out there, and that's an emotional question at root, that's a very human and question at root, and so that formula that's been gotten to through mathematical means has a kind of hidden, a, a, a constant hidden ele- element of artistry and emotion in it, that is formulated from this kind of philosophical instinct that has got the person there originally. And so there's always an element of subjectivity in mathematics or in any of these things that we that we consider overtly uh, objective. And that always makes me smile because it makes me feel as if um, there is actually emotion and passion within those things. Because to me, someone who... Uh, has always looked at things like mathematics as a bit of, uh, well, too calculated or too data-driven or too objective. Um, It gives you a sense of newfound understanding of those who like mathematics, what they feel, why they like it, what the passion is there. And there's quite a lot of passion that you can get when, for example, obviously we do a lot of statistics with with psychology, when you're looking at a data sheet, when you're looking at some data that's been given to you, that's been processed as an output through the program that we use, IBM uh, Statistics, SPSS, um, there really is a sense of elation there for those statistics and also for the subjective meaning behind those statistics. What does that mean for a specific hypothesis? What does that mean for a specific research question? And um, that really, really is beautiful. But you know what I'm like, we could get on to a full whoo here. So, and I actually have to go for a drop-in session in four minutes. So I'm gonna have to get off now. Um, But yeah, so the poetry is going to be taken over to another channel. I've decided to do that. Um, And 
it'll be nice to do that. It'll be good just to kind of have that there. Um, so if you would like to subscribe to that channel, I will leave the link down below. Uh, and obviously over the coming months, there'll be plenty of poetry that's going to go on there. I've done some really, really nice poetry recently. Whenever I look back through my poetry, uh, I always feel a little bit uh, uneasy because there's some of it in there that isn't great. There's some of it in there that's, um, I don't know, egotistical. There's some of it in there that's just too objective or too thinking-based. There's some of it in there that's, that's too philosophical. Um, although you can do, sometimes you can get the sweet spot where you can do some good philosophical poetry, but it's it's hard to do, and I don't really feel like I've attained to that fully yet. Um, but nonetheless, some of the more recent stuff I've done, I've really felt like I've I've captured what some form of idiosyncratic poetry means for me, my, my idiosyncrasies within poetry. Um, and that's been really, really satisfying and very a deep experience for me. So I will most likely post some of that on that channel uh, when I get round to, of course, just proofreading it, checking it, doing, doing a few bits and bobs of checks, narrating it, and then, of course, sending it off to the guy um, I am partnered with on Fiverr. And then, of course, I will upload it. So that's all to look forward to over there. On this channel, as I say, we'll get round to doing videos uh, when I can. Um, and it will be based on psychology, philosophy, things like that. Because, as I say, that's what I'm doing for the most part at the moment. Um, I am not doing any reselling at the moment, by the way, to make you aware. In fact, I don't think it would be even possible for me to do that at the moment. I... With the poetry, with my other book work, now of course we're getting back to YouTube and doing the two channels, the poetry one and this one, and doing the university, the assignments, the exams, um, it's, and, and doing side reading on philosophy and stuff like that, it's, it's mind-blowing, you know? and uh, actually of course the investing as well, so... Um, which I'm really enjoying at the moment. I've been, I always enjoy investing. I think it's brilliant, and I always say to people, get involved with investing. You know, I'm, obviously I can't give people financial advice, but I, I still say it because I, I, I feel so strongly about. It. I think that investing is a, a brilliant thing. I really do. It's given me so much, not just the money. I mean, yes, um, that's great. That's a great side of it. But for me. It's the game of it, and everyone says it's about the game of it, you know, it's about the passion of it, it's about the, the love of, of whatever that is, um, you know, whatever form of investing you're doing, so um, it is it is really, really good, and um, I'm loving a lot of the crypto stuff about at the moment, and just kind of dipping my toe into that, and, and just seeing what I can do with it now, because it, it was once about a kind of sense of proving something to the world. Um, but now it's more about a sense of just having fun with it and seeing what I can do. Um, and there was always that substrata of thinking under that kind of proving something. But things kind of change over time and, and, and different things become more of a priority or more of a, a feeling within your consciousness, within how you kind of, your attitude to a certain thing. And and so um, that's more of my attitude to it now. And I really, I really enjoy that. I really get a lot of passion out of that. Um, uh, and so, yeah, uh, the I mean, I have, as many people know, I've thought about putting investing on the channel for months, probably even a year or more, actually. Um, I just worry about certain aspects of putting information about my portfolio online and things like that and and really going for it because, um, well, naturally, the obvious kind of uh, pitfalls are there or the obvious traps are there that I could get myself into doing something like that. Um, but obviously in the past I've kind of talked about investing generally and I might do that but 
I might do it in a slightly different way, a slightly different angle. So, but I might do some videos like that in the future. And we'll see where we get with that sort of stuff. Um, but with that being said, I will have to go now. It's a couple of minutes into the dropping session, so I'll have to get in there. Uh, I need to have a chat about some statistics. So I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys. Mm -hmm.